Hello, let's continue our Sudoku adventure with Symmetry Equals 5 by Riff Clown. So today we have normal Sudoku rules. So in every row, every column, and every 2x3 box, we're going to place the digits 1 to 6 exactly once each. And we have standard arrows. So digits on an arrow sum to the value in the attached circle. So if this was 1 and 4, then that would sum to 5. So that's uh, the rules. Pretty straightforward today. Um, definitely give the puzzle a uh, try yourself. Yeah, the link's in the description. And I'm going to get started right now. All right, so these diagonal arrows are super interesting. I wonder. This box in general is interesting. So we're not putting a 1 in any of these cells. Um... This could be a two, but these can't be twos. No, this could be a two as well, with one and one. Hmm. Let's combine arrows, maybe? So let's think about this. Let's think about these arrow cells here. I mean, I'm going to even color them. Let's make them green. So what is the minimum these can sum to? So this could be one, two, three, adding to six. This could be a one, adding to seven. And then this could be 1 and 2 adding to 3, so that's 10 in total. So these three have to add to at least 10 altogether. Um, but that's not hard. So we need to look at something else. This box has a given 2 in it. So these... Um, the overlap is interesting. So basically these with an overlapping cell... Uh, these could be one. Do we even want to just think about this alone? Because this this can't have a two or a three on it at all. So this could be one four or one five, but it must have a one on it, and it's going to add to five or six. So that seems important. But if this was a five, then this would also have to be a one, and it it can't be. So that's not a five. If this was a four then this would have to be a 1 or a 2, but it can't be. So this is the 1, then. And it's adding with 4 or 5 to get to 5 or 6. And then these are also consecutive. So 6 in this box can't go here or here. So 6 is in one of these two. Okay. Um, yeah, 6 doesn't go on an arrow, and it's not 5. So 6 is in one of these two. And obviously it can't go on an arrow because that would already blow out the sum. Um, what else can we do here? I feel like I'm missing an important observation, <laughs> basically. Um, 6 in this box can't be on the arrow, but I guess it could be anywhere here. Okay, um, this two, ah, this two is looking over. Yeah, I'm missing that, obviously. So one of these is a two, which means that we have to have a one plus one either here or here. So we, either, so we have ones here, and we have ones across here, which I, I don't know if I want to mark, but um, I won't remember that they're crossing the box, I think. But one of these is a one, and one of these is a one. We kind of knew that, that none of these could be one anyway, but... Along with the two is either a six or a four, because this is either four, five, or five, six. So it always has a five on it. Can't do four, six. So this is from two, four, six. Without a two on here, and without a three on here, the other one that's not the one is minimum four. Um, so actually this is one, it can't be two, three, or five. So this is one or four, and this is one, can't be two or three, four or five. But it can't be a five, because if it was a five, this would be one, one, and then this could be a one. So let me just write that out for you. If this was a five, this would be one, one, and then this would be minimum two, and that would add to seven. So this is a one, four pair, 
that means that this is a 2-6 pair. So this is 4 and 5, and that's 6. Nice. That means that's the 5 for the box. And this is the 3, so that adds to 4. Nice, that's good progress. Okay. So along with the 1, we're going to have a 2, because it's going to be 4 plus 2. So this is a 1-2 pair. That I can definitely record. Uh, these are the 3, 5, 6 left for the row, and the 5 tells us where the 5 goes. And this can't be a 6, because we said 6 isn't one of these two. Um, yeah, 6 can't go in arrow, that's why. So that's 3, which means 3 plus 2 is 5. 1 and 2, 4 and 1, very nice, 6. Okay, so this is a 4. There's only one way to add a 4, which is a 1, 3 pair. This is a pair as well. This is 2 and 4. And this is 5 and 6. So I can't. This is even and this is odd. I'm going to add to an odd number. So I'm going to only add to 5. Um, that's a 6. This is 1, 3, 6. So the 6 has to go here. And this is a 1, 3 pair. Um, so this is either 2 plus 1 equals 3, which it can't be, or 2 plus 3 equals 5, which it is. This is a 2, so that's 1 plus 1. That's 4 and 2 and 3 and 1. Nice. And then finish the row with a 4. 2 plus 4 is 6. And this is a 3. Nice. That was a cool use of overlapping arrows, uh, Rift Clown. Um, I hope I did it justice. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was neat. So thank you for the puzzle. Uh, if you all enjoyed the puzzle as well, why not leave a like, subscribe, and leave a kind comment below.